Okay, thank you very much. It's been a bit like the Led Zeppelin concert today too, isn't it? Tremultuous applause. Okay, I'd like to invite back onto the Dodo stage to continue tonight's performance and show um, Zolan Quabble. is a dumb animal. It's a global hoof, grass chewing, distance eating, stupid ruminant. You stab it, it bleeds. Endless blood. Mountains in sunset, blood. You stab it, it bleeds. You cry. The heart is a cow lowing for a stolen calf. It's a snorting, blinded, horns down, charging bull. It's a river of wildebeest, it's a four-chambered ox, it's a bison in snow, or a clear, night-skinned, wily buffalo hiding in thinning forest leaves, planning a lethal ambush. This is uh, quite an old poem. Uh, I had a vision of my dead dad in Northcote Road Market, and that was, I don't know, that's about 20 years ago. Um, so I, I wrote this. I walked in the dead body. There were innards, there were lights, there were raspberries and cherries, there were strawberries and red berries, there were clean beetroot and radish bunches shining in the rain, on fruit crates, on fruit crates, in the rain. I walked on in the body more dead. There were green things and yellow. There were cabbage and banana, sticks and stalks, flowers and algae, red cabbage, brain, parsnip, spine root, algae. Rotten bone leaks creeping over the stone. I walked on in the body more dead. Everything was turning green. There were ligaments in open hands and ribs. The bubble film screen was growing green over the silver stone. The lining of the stone, grave stone, grating open in the rain, the pouring rain. Dad's skeleton wearing rags like flags, dancing invisible, yes, dancing invisible, yes, with a melting glacier following. Long may those bones rest, long may those bones rest. They don't want to. No. No. <laughs> Imagine waking up in the beginning, in the blindness of sleep, broken by mumbling, premonitions of sentences with real verbs and objects utterly other than the subject of dreams, objects marked with names which are variations of the noise of breaking skin, the froth released in a pianissimo sweet sibilant serpent hiss of language juice a voice speck in a mask of earth and sky, drowned in background. The applause of birds scattering, branch-shaking monkeys, wind-rubbing trees, roaring waterfalls, thunder, rain and earthquake, deluged. Now, spelling, as if naming was the thing itself, as if there was no context, as if language, despite the untidiness of its rules and the frayed spittle drapery of its bastard music, was the only sound a god could make. In the beginning is a catch-all universe between sphincters, a worm becoming rigid with bone and nerve to carry electric punctuation to break the sound wave into ego-digestible portions for proud humans who imagine controlling the vastness with a dictionary. Death to the gape of the dumb, stupid animals who swallow more oxygen before plunging down into the wordless oyster bed to come up with exceptions, pearls of exceptions, in the unexceptional places, caught in an aphrodisiac trick of the light that was never prophesied unless words were planted as flags and not prisons. In the beginning, behind lips that edge a cave, waits a dark diving board for breath compressed to do a back two and a half somersaults with two and a half twists and a pike off to go hunting meaning. 
in the beginning is a hush like crow wings on a moonless night carrying a body pregnant with an egg joke, being eaten by an alphabet, waiting for the cloaca of shadow trimmed with coal feathers. This is an, another I want. It, it's for people who die in prisons, whether they were guilty or not. Some birds of prey are strung so high on sight and flight that cages round them don't touch them but slice them whose wings stretch far wider than our horizons. Some cats flame so fierce they melt cold mountains and burn up instantly in zoos. Even amongst broken horses some earth pounders demand respect. But humans, for all their new instrumentation, are trapped in old conventions still unborn. Not like the animals, including horses with different skins wedded to muscle and muscle wedded to bone amongst embedded nebulae, because nerves are stars exploding in a space of hormone. So, plain animals run together, continue studying, neighing, thudding off, springing to better off, springing on the bouncy grave of the past, joining races simply for the joy of running fast, running to another, to love, to be free. Native Americans understand, and with their big heart bravery win respect, and the joy of running among buffalo floods. Red dust, sharp sweat, smoke in the rippling heat haze, under white light, a burning nipple in a blue breast sky. Each time they eat, they kill a god, a forgiving god, who whoops when the arrow sings and bellows a short-lived loneliness on knees, crashing to the grass they are the harvest of. Native Americans understood, or did not. Nevertheless, whole tribes rotted in a world whose iron bars enforce its differences. Mm. Right, gonna, the last one, um, also pretty ancient. And the beginning of the run is loose, long strides eating up ground and the body bounces and everything is easy. And at the top of the pace, eyes look far ahead, and at the base of the pace, all things look liquid to brush aside, and all the steps are inevitable and large, and long may they last one after another. Then the bag in the hand is a huge square thing in a round rhythm, not heavy to be carried so far already, but awkward. The right hand doesn't swing as it might, and the right arm is cramped in its one position, and the right shoulder is muscle stretched and the left shoulder gyrates in a drum of oil and the legs flick forward with squirts of oil for the joints and the hips fill like a whole reservoir of oil and the belly is bowsprung if legs reach far enough to take a deeper breath and fuel this engine more knew her like a spirit would course through limbs untying and exhorting as it went some of the pain would move to pleasure breathing deep to the toes pouring it down through hips would induce an endless gallop endless gallop the breath comes difficult a bubble of it horizon sized i have not been open to it i have sprinted and not like my blood is thick with use limbs stiff with old blood without air i will have to stop and breathe noisily as i used to when a child breathing while running and running was so far and so far when a huge open space gave me a yelp like a dog and I'd run and run not stopping exhausted but now I stop and measure the volume and number of breaths like the stock taker, the teacher or the jailer at roll call just before I measured the paces like a landowner, an undertaker or an artillery officer all mourners of the child A very powerful closing set from Zola and Quabble. More applause, please. And now for her second set from uh, from London via Cornwall and uh, other points south. Please welcome back Sue Johns. <coughs>